from WBBZ TV Sports. It's time to beat the champ. Now, here are your hosts, Paul Peck and Sue Nowitzki. Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Beat the Champ, and welcome to Grand Island for our annual Island Lanes All-Star Challenge with Janelle and Sue. My name is Paul Peck. You know, we've done over 200 Beat the Champ shows, and every year when we get set for the Island Lanes All-Star Challenge, I always wonder if it's going to be the last one that we do, because this <laughs> show is nuts. Everybody here is crazy. They have more fun than anyone you could imagine. So it's going to be a very interesting hour. Well, it's the only fourth show we have that comes with a list of rules before they <laughs> yes, start. Yes, that's so true. I guess we have to sit through that. But again, it's the Baker format. There's four teams. Each team has a captain. The captain is always the fifth bowler, which means they will go in the fifth frame and they will be the anchor bowler finishing the tenth frame. And then you'll know, good luck following one, two, three, and four. Yep, five bowlers per team, yes. four teams, and about triple that amount of people cheering on those bowlers. Yep. Anybody that's ever even driven by Island Lanes, I think, is here right now. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, <laughs> you know, it's going to be a little hard to keep track, but if you can see, which I don't know if you can, but they all wear a colored uh, number on their shoulder to tell which team they're on as well, so that'll kind of keep everything in a little bit of order. Yeah, we'll do our best to identify, particularly the ones who may be misbehaving a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll call everybody out. It is always <laughs> one of our favorite shows of the year. We hope it's one of yours, the most unpredictable of all the Beat the Champ shows, so let's get rolling. All right, strap yourself in, because here we go. It's Team Big Easy, led by that guy, Jeremy Pagoda, and Team Kelly, led by their captain, Zach Kelly, and a cast of thousands here in Grand Island to get us going. It's... It's start, busier it's than the old off. Grand Island tools at five o'clock on a Friday. It, start, it started off so tame with a nice little handshake between two guys. Yeah. All right, that's Sam Turner. He bowls for Team Big Easy, and he will start us off. So four teams of five bowlers each. Explain how we're working our way through this. All right, so everybody's going to bowl two frames in a one-frame game. Sam's our leadoff bowler. We will see him in the first frame, and we will see him in the sixth frame again. All right, so we, we go one through five, and then we go back to one through five for frames six through ten. So Correct. stay with us here. We're going to do our best to keep you up to date on everybody that's in there and bowling. We know it's Sam Turner. And he's got a chance for a spare. And that's a good start for Team Big Easy. Yes, Sammy Knuckles gets us started with the spare. A little, little inside information here. Sam bowls in my league on Wednesday nights, and he made the show a few months back, and he was so excited to meet Janelle. And Janelle was not here that week. Probably you too. <laughs> Neither one of you are probably oh, here. That's all right. I won't but take it personally. <laughs> he is so excited to finally meet her. This is Lori Degotti bowling for Team Kelly. And we yeah. have seen Lori before. She's so that was Sam basically introducing himself to Janelle. I'm sure. Because of his disappointment of having not seen her before. So, all right. well, I don't think that's the closest he's ever been to her, so I'm sure. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I already told the story, Sam. <laughs> All right, Lori Degotti gets the spare. So spares to get us started on both sides. Uh oh. And here comes. We're gonna go to commercial. Comes our buddy, We're gonna go to commercial now. Jr. Balling. He's mad at us. Apparently, apparently he didn't bow well, and we pointed that out last year, and he's mad at us. No, it does not. No, it does not. And he made sure there would be no explanation needed by knocking them all down for a strike. So 
We are off and rolling on the Malwitz Island Lanes All-Star Challenge. Team Big Easy and Team Kelly. This is Frank Misaraka for Team Big Easy. The reason it's Big Easy, Captain Jeremy Pagoda moved here from New Orleans, right? Okay. That, yep. that seems pretty simple. Yep, yep. There's a good reason. All right, still tied. All right, there you go. There's Janelle and the Castellone Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram scoreboard. Janelle's security detail is late showing up here for this event, so she's on her own today. <laughs> well, they promised to be good. So we, yes, we they did. Everyone promised to be good, and we expect nothing less from the fine folks here in Grand Isle. This is Steph McGinn for Team Big Easy. Stephanie made the girls show at Rapids last month. That's a double for Team Big Easy. All right, here comes Joe Doherty. If you were with us last week, you saw Joe in our regular competition win and advance next week. So we're going to see Joe three weeks in a row here. That's right. Don't let the hat fool you. That is Joe under there. Joe wants a little more noise. All right, Joe Doherty bowling for Team Kelly. We know how well he can bowl on these lanes. This feels like a good time to take a short break. We'll be right back with more action on Beat the Champ. Instant replay on Beat the Champ is brought to you by Transit Lanes and Keglers. Join us for bowling, food, and drinks. Welcome back to Beat the Champ. Let's get back to the action here on WBBZ TV. There you go. He bowls like that. We'll make sure we get the name right. All right, and then we wrap up our front five here with Captain Zach Kelly. Big shot for him here because their team has the lead, but uh, you know, it could go at any time. Ooh, a groan from the capacity crowd here at Island Lanes. You got it, though, Captain. You got it. You know, this is, we, you know, based on the way the schedule fell, we've been here twice in the last four months. We were here in October, and then we're back here again now. And uh, normally we get a year to recover from the Island Lanes All-Star Challenge. But you weren't here. Well, I wasn't here, but I've been through <laughs> enough of these to have needed the extra time anyway. Oh. So now we go back to the top again. Correct. After that open frame. So back to the top and back to Sam Turner. That's a solid nickname, by the way. One of the best. Sammy Knuckles? Sammy Knuckles is one of the best nicknames. See, I call had. I call him Usher. <laughs> <laughs> he's always got his red sneakers on, he's always garnished in red. Usher baby, that's I heard it. I heard it. I'm not the only one. All right, Lori Degatti for Team Kelly. She had a strike first time out. Or correction, a spare first time out. That's a strike. Pretty good bowling going on here, huh? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they pre-gamed enough. Cause this is way too good. I was gonna uh -oh. say maybe maybe that's the difference. All right. Here we go again. Time for Jr. Let's see if the chant did pops he itself did up he again. Did he redeem himself so that he doesn't get the chant? I think he did. Chant? I think that they're, they're going easy on him here. It was awfully quiet here. Shockingly, that's as quiet as it's been in, in this building in a long time. I think they were looking for who was going to lead the chant. <laughs> All right. So now JR's got to pick up the spare. All right. Well, we got a little shift in the lead now because the lead has shifted back to the Big Easy. All 
All right, so Team Big Easy will try to maintain that lead by rolling Frank Miseraca back up here. Frank had a strike in the second frame. You know, we, we, we like to kid about this, but this is, this is really one of the most fun times we have on our show. Every, every bowling center that we go to puts on a great fourth show. Some of them are a little more serious than this one, but we always know what we're expecting and what we're going to get into when we come here to Grand Island because we know that this is always a crazy event. And I think, if nothing else, it just shows you the, the spirit and camaraderie of all the bowlers here in Grand Island. You know, well, I was thinking about it when I was driving here today, and that is, this has to be a close-knit community, because if you're going to go off the island, you're going to have to go over the bridges to go someplace, and, you know, what better than to just stay around the home? And they make this place such a home away from home. I mean, it's always full. The food is good. Yep. Uh, people are always welcoming. Oh, Stephanie McGinn with the fourth consecutive strike for Team Big Easy. Pretty big lead going with only two frames left. Yeah, there you can see it on the Castellone Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram scoreboard. All right, here comes Big Joe. Joe! Couldn't get that 10 pin to go down. There's a uh, shocking lack of trash talk going on here. Maybe the final match. All right, maybe the, well, right. Maybe, maybe they once, did a good job of mixing maybe once up friends. Team so Mallwitz can... gets out there in our next match, uh, it'll it'll pick up a notch. And a little kiss of the side of the pin for Joe Doherty for the spare. All right, Mike Crikeham for Team Kelly. They got to put the comeback on here. Yep. Only chance they have is to strike out at this point. Wow, that was a and great shot. That won't happen. That, that pin that rung around the 10 was upside down when it did That's it. That's what I talked about in the other match where you go way to the right and that break is so big. It was beautiful. It came back and hit the pocket, but the break is so big that it whips that six around the 10. And Krykum misses the spare opportunity, and that should clinch things, and it will for Team Big Easy. So Tommy Kalman will come and fire a couple down the lane here, but it's going to be a victory for Team Big Easy, so whether they know that or not, they'll be able to uh, enjoy it a little bit Well, here. I have a feeling they must know it, and they're really being very sportsmanlike about this. It, 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 something's wrong. <laughs> something's very, very wrong. How about five strikes in a row for Team Big Easy? All right, so we're going to watch Team Captain Jeremy Paguada finish things out here, but it's going to be a win for Jeremy Strikes. Let's see if Jeremy can finish it off here with one more strike. Jeremy eyes it up. Big Easy, and go. Team Big Easy gets the strike they need and clinches the victory. Team Big Easy will advance to the championship of our Island Lanes All-Star Challenge. What team will they face? We'll find out when Sue and I... Oh, it was a tough one here for Team Kelly. Captain Zach Kelly so broken up by this defeat, he's going to make JR do all the talking here. You, you did a nice job on the head pin, though. Uh, yeah, I finally hit the head yeah. pin. But... <laughs> they, they put a 269 on, the, on you. That, they cheated and they had Sam go out of turn. <laughs> all right, 100%. so now that you guys are out of it, who are you rooting for the rest of the way? Team Johnson. All right, Team Johnson. All right, well, then get up there and make it loud and cheer those guys on and see if we can't get them to victory. Thank you. All right. Team Kelly, tough one, but we got more coming up. More of the always exciting Island Lanes Challenge is next on Beat the Champ.
I, I think that's Mike Johnson and Mike Malwitz both trying to look mean. Yeah. And failing miserably. But terribly. By the way. Yes. Terribly. Yes. Mike. I, Mike, Mike Johnson and his smile is his trademark, so trying to look mean like that just, it doesn't get there. And we all know how big a goofball Malwitz is, so we know that there was no prayer of that. All right, so it's Team Johnson and Team Malwitz. The winner goes to our championship match of the Island Lanes All-Star Challenge. And here's Tom Brady Jr. to get us started. Oh, nice job there for Team Johnson. All right, we have a lot of we have a lot of strikes here, haven't we? Oh no, did he just say no cheating on that shot? I can only imagine what life must be like to hear for him as Tom Brady living here in Western New York. I know. I said, don't worry, someday he'll and, retire. And we're going to see his wife in a moment, and we'll tell you the interesting part about that. This is Adam Ventress with a strike for Team Malwitz. All right, now, next up for Team Malwitz, completely raising the level of this entire affair <laughs> is Dr. Mike Pusatier, bowling second for Team Malwitz. And he's writing a prescription for a strike. Lisa Bugenhagen after Dr. Mike gets all the high fives. So we just had a guy named Tom Brady and a, and a true and honest doctor bowling back to back. I'm not sure how either of them ever, ever led in this building. Uh -huh. Lisa. Lisa. We got strikes all the way, thanks to Lisa Bugenhagen. Very nice. Okay, so this is, this is Kevin, Kevin Tyler, Tyler for Team Johnson. Oh, all of a sudden it gets quiet in here. Team when Team Johnson's Kevin Tyler gets set to go. <laughs> Hasn't been quiet in here since 1983. <laughs> oh. oh! Wow, is that was that the luckiest uh, slow rolling pin ever? <laughs> so you just went from a 7-10 split to at least a seven pin spare <laughs> opportunity. How about that? Good times for Kevin Tyler here. All right, let's see if he can take care of this one. Strong on the back end is Team Johnson with Andy uh -oh. Moran and Captain Mike Johnson. Uh-oh. Go, Giselle, jump on that! All right, not <laughs> successful open frames. So now we go back to Team Malwitz, and this is Giselle Brady, which is not really her name, but when she's married to Tom Brady, you know all the knuckleheads in this place are gonna do nothing other than call her Giselle. All right, I know it's a it's a challenge keeping up on all of this. We're we're trying our best. We're trying our best to keep everybody under control here. Okay, so Gary. At least Janelle is maintaining some semblance of order there on the Castellone scoreboard. <laughs> this is Gary Scott for Team Malwitz. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa. <laughs> If that was Tom Brady, that would have been a false start. <laughs> All right, Gary Scott has found himself to the right place. <laughs> and he gets himself a strike. All right, Andy Moran, who we saw a couple weeks ago on our regular series of shows here at Island Lane. Andy had a nice performance in winning a couple of matches before getting defeated by the guy who will bowl next on his team, which is Mike Johnson. Come on, Andy. Go. Yeah. Nice shot. Man, the strikes are flying here, huh? Making them look easy. Yes. All right, here's your captain and your anchorman, Mike Johnson. 
Anchorman. He does not need a third nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we already, he's already, I already call him House Shoes. We pinned Buzzsaw on him from, uh, from a couple weeks ago. Well, and you know what? The Buzzsaw keeps slicing through pins. This is, this is where the baker really shows up. You've got four out of five strikes, but you're in a, but an open right in the middle. Right. And so. That's Meanwhile, Mike Malwitz for Team Malwitz will try to keep them perfect through the first five frames. Oh, see, so they think that being quiet is a distraction. <laughs> Why does anything in Mike Malwitz's life quiet? <laughs> this looks like a good time to take a break. We'll be back with more Beat the Champ right after this. Welcome back to Beat the Champ. All right, so perfect through the first five frames for Team Malwitz. Let's see if Adam Ventress can keep that going. And he will. Six frames, seven bowl or six frames, six bowlers, six strikes. Five bowlers. Five bowlers. Five bowlers. One twice, six strikes. All right. Here comes Tom Brady Jr. At least we know where this Tom Brady is gonna gonna be right now. <laughs> He'll be in Grand Island in a couple of months. Not so much known about the other Tom Brady. Oh, oh big wobble on the ten. It won't go down. Uh -oh. <laughs> If nothing else, we hope you can just hear the uh, the heckling that goes on from the crowd here. That that in itself is the entertainment value of this show. All right, six frame spare for Tom Brady. Lisa Bugenhagen up next for Team Johnson. And you can see on that Team Malwitz scoreline, perfect through six. That's two strikes for Lisa in her two frames of this Baker format and a high five on her way back to the bench. Okay, here comes Doc, Dr. Mike. Unfortunately, is a diagnosis for the lack of a, another perfect game here. So, well, Dr. this is Mike. any indication what it's going to take to win this this game today. These scores are high from these teams. Good spare pickup for Dr. Mike in the seventh frame. Here's Giselle Brady. Did we figure out what her real name, real first name? Carly. Carly, thank you. But here, they only call her Giselle. All right, out of the box, Carly. Remember, the results, the team members of Team Big Easy are awaiting the winner of this one for the much coveted Island Lanes All-Star Challenge a trophy and title that will be held over the head of the losers for months to come. And I can tell you that this is not over by any stretch, but it's gonna take some striking here, starting off with uh, Kevin Tyler. All right, so we go back to Team Johnson, eighth frame Kevin Tyler. Oh, that's, uh, that was a big ball, I'll tell you. Got a little lucky that uh, that those pins on the right side went down late. Let's 
see if Kevin can finish off the spare. And he'll only get one. So, it looks like we are headed towards a victory for Team Malwitz. They've pretty much clinched it here, even with two frames to go. So, it's going to be Team Malwitz into the championship match, which always seems to be the case here, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I wonder why. I wonder why, other than the, the guy's name is on the side of the building. <laughs> this is Andy Moran bowling it out here for Team Johnson. They just don't want, they don't want to show uh, the Big Easy anything. They're all thrown yeah. off now. Oh, no, I, I see. They're quieting down yeah, now. Yeah, they're just trying like. Trying to intimidate with yeah. silence. Letting them uh, I don't know that that's ever going to work here. That, uh, they're not going to, they've got nothing. Yeah, I say when that crowd is silent, the first reaction around here would be to call the uh, authorities. Call for medical help. So we are headed towards a victory for Mike Malwitz and his gang, which is gonna put them in the championship match. So it's Team Malwitz, Team Big Easy. We'll come back and get you ready for what should be an always fun championship match here. It's our special fourth week show, our special edition from Beat the Champ from Malwitz's Island Lanes. We're back right after this. Two sixty-six to one eighty-three. Team Malwitz over Team Johnson. One eighty-three. Really? It was. It was a little embarrassing. I'm Ooh, still that. proud of my team. I mean, but uh, I tell you, it's really hard to beat that Malwitz magic. Yeah. He is tough. He I, is tough. I think this whole thing got thrown off when you tried to look really mean at the beginning it, of the match. Because we know you, Mike. There's, there's no mean. I don't out have you. a mean side. That's uh, right. You do That's... not. So, but you tried to intimidate Malwitz, and I think he took it. The, he took it the wrong way. Yeah, you? it's so. not the first time, and <laughs> unfortunately, it's not the last. But. It's a good time. All right, Always for a pleasure. As much time as you guys spend around here, how painful is it going to be for you guys to hear about ah, this? It's going to be tough. Yeah. It's going to be tough. They're going to kick us. All They're right. going to kick us while we're down. It's all right. All right, so who are we voting for? Who do you like in the championship? Team Big Easy or Team Mullets? I got to tell you, I'm, I'm going Big Easy. We're all going right. for Big Easy. All right, there you go. No Mike doubt. Johnson has spoken. Will it be Tim B Team Big Easy or Team Mullets? Time to find out. The All-Star Challenge is next. Well, once again, team captains, failure to look mean and intimidating, but Jeremy Paguada and Mike Malwitz and their respective squads are ready to go in the championship match of the Island Lanes All-Star Challenge. Team Big Easy, Team Malwitz, this is Sam Turner. He will look to get Team Big Easy off to a big start. Well, here's the story of these two teams in their first matches each team only didn't strike two times in the game uh, wow 269 so. for team big easy 266 for team Mullins. very and, and and as you said to me at in a baker format like this those are incredibly high they're the high scores no matter what right because you have five people hitting on all cylinders well that's what we saw throughout this match so let's see if it continues again and it would be nice to have this come down to both teams over 250 to decide Wouldn't who's going to win this. I'd like huh? to see a lot of strikes going on here. Here's Adam Ventress. He'll get it started for Team Malwitz. As Mike Johnson told us, an incredible amount of bragging rights, an incredible amount of pain to be suffered by the team that does not win this All-Star Challenge. Because <laughs> all of these guys and gals are regulars here. They bowl with each other. They bowl against each other. And so, so they'll get hit about it later tonight. And then when the show airs, uh, after we record it, they'll get hit about it again. Oh, and probably many times in between. Yeah. All right, it's Dr. Mike Pusatier for Team Malwitz. We even have signs in the crowd. We got it all. Yes, we do. The, uh, 
the incredible community and family that is Mollitz's Island Lanes always turns out in force for this event that Mike always puts on as the fourth show in our month-long stop here at Island Lanes. And it's something that we've come to look forward to every right. year. And he does, he does love fun. it. Oh, and that's a miss for Dr. Mike and an open frame in number two for Team Malwitz. Uh-oh. And I think the one thing that hopefully you at home watching can draw from all of this is that this is a wonderful place and everybody enjoys it. it this is the, the, the cliche of, of cheers when you walk in, everybody knows your name and, and they know uh, they know if you're in a bad mood, they know how to cheer you up or maybe sometimes to uh, continue to pound on you to keep you in a bad mood. Depends but, whether you go to the front counter or the bar. Exactly, right? but it's a great atmosphere and uh, this is truly one of the gems uh, of bowling in Western New York. And even, you don't have to be from Grand Island to come up here and hang out one night and bowl a little bit and hang out at the bar. The food's great here and the host is great. Mike and his mom and his dad and the whole Mallwitz family. That's right. And I love and I love to hear about you watching Beat the Champs because they're very proud of being a part of it and they do a great job supporting it. So we get two strikes to open things up here for Team Big Easy, and they are setting the tone already. Let's see what Stephanie McGinn can do. Oh, oh that's sad. That's about the reaction you would expect from leaving a 7-10 split. That's a terrible break. That was a good shot. Yep, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a tough one. That is. No coincidence that it happens to the team that's bullying Mollett. Yeah. Well, so much for that run of uh, incredible strikes that we saw earlier on. And that's not how Team Big Easy wanted to do it after two strikes. So let's see if Carly Giselle Brady can pick things up here for Team Mollett's. And much like uh, the guys on our regular show, uh, all of a sudden when things stop working well, they, they stop pretty hard, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Slamming yeah. the brakes on of all those strikes that we saw in the first two matches. Well, the energy isn't there. Yeah. So they need the ball speed. They need to uh, really get pumped up, and the energy is sort I of I think shockingly up. the energy isn't here in this building, mm -hmm. and there's usually never any shortage of that. Good spare pickup for Carly Brady. What spare? All right, but that cuts it to about a six pin lead, so we're pretty much even. All right. Anybody's match, though. So, no. There you go. There's the Castellone Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram scoreboard. It has been the quietest, calmest <laughs> Island Lanes All Star Challenge that Giselle, uh, or that Janelle, <laughs> not Giselle, Janelle has ever lived through. There's a big strike for Gary Scott, first of the match for Team Mallwitz. What strikes? All right, here we go. Well, Janelle's our supermodel, so you can uh, <laughs> allow me to accuse, uh, to make the mistake of calling her Giselle. She is. Yes, it's gotten noticeably quiet in here. Shockingly quiet. It's never that's quiet in here. Tommy Calvin will have to overcome the odd quietness in Island Lanes. Wow. Yeah. He How about that for some hard, power? Oh my goodness, he throws it as hard as anybody we've ever had on our show. All right. Team captain, Jeremy Paguada. From New Orleans to Grand Island, thus Team Big Easy. And he'd like to get his team going with a hurricane of strikes here. <laughs> oh, and the strikes come marching in for Team Big Easy. Good strike by Jeremy Paguada. And Captain Mike Malwitz will finish off the front five frames here of our Island Lanes All-Star Challenge. 
Mike, I think, threw nothing but strikes in uh, the last match, right? His two frames. Correct. Big one here, though, keeps them in this match. There you go. And I mean, who drinks more pets? Let's go, Texas. <laughs> the action will continue on Beat the Champ in just a minute. Instant replay on Beat the Champ is brought to you by Transit Lanes and Keglers. Join us for bowling, food, and drinks. Welcome back to Beat the Champ. All right, there's your scoreboard. Here's your next bowler. It's Adam Ventress in frame six. Team Mike Malwitz. No oh, big ring ten. Now remember, as we always like to remind people, we're at the end of a long run here. So these lanes are starting to get uh, beaten up pretty good, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, people are pretty deep. They're playing them. If you notice, everybody's standing to the way to the left now. Adam gets the spare in the sixth frame. Here comes Sam Turner. Sam has an opportunity to really lay the smack down. He's done nothing but strike, I believe, all afternoon. I think so. he opened with like a four pin. He had nine spared his first his first frame and then it's been all strikes since then. Let's see what Sammy Knuckles has for us here. There you go. Strike in the sixth frame for Sam Turner. <laughs> and a little grief from Mike Mullins as he walks by. Nothing what to be expected. All right, next up, Frank Misaraka. Seventh frame. This can really put the herd on Team Malwitz right here if he can strike. Yeah. Right, up, faded off to the left and leaves himself a picket fence of pins on the right hand side. Has Mike's team always won this? Uh, you know, without having the actual statistics in front of me, I want to say that it sounds about right. <laughs> Then again, as I mentioned, his name is on the side of the building, <laughs> which, you know, which could mean anything you want it to mean. It means he's here a lot, he bowls a lot, he's good, or whatever else. Ooh. Thought he could slide those pins in there, but it's an open in the seventh for Team Big Easy and maybe a big opening for Team Malwitz. Isn't that funny how that works? Uh, let's see if the doctor is in here in the frame seven. Dr. Mike for Team Malwitz. Now that gets the place excited a little bit. All right, there's your updated scoreboard. We have a match. Yes, we do. Here comes Giselle Brady. <laughs> like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She bowls like a supermodel. Yeah, the real match is what we're talking about. All right, pressure on Stephanie McGinn now. She's got to try to help her team out a little bit I'll here. Say, make sure she doesn't leave another 7-10 split. So don't forget, uh, next week we head to Salamanca, Central Lanes, where our defending champion from here in Grand Island last week, that's Joe Doherty. You saw Joe a little earlier in the show. So Joe will be our next bowler to face off against 
nine new contenders based on the qualifying at Central Lanes in Salamanca, and that will be the first show for next week for the Beat the Champ Traveling Road Show. We go anywhere. We go to Salamanca, we go to Brad, we go out of state to Bradford, we go to Niagara yeah. Falls, to Grand Island, you name it, we're there. That's right. And we'll see what happens. We'll see who's lined up to try to, we always get some new names when we head down there to Salamanca, right. some of the Southern Tier guys mm -hmm. that don't necessarily make their way up here to Buffalo for qualifying. So should be a fun group of bowlers next week. Tommy Kalman with the strike. So now it's Gary Scott, ninth frame for Team Malwitz. Always good to see Janelle smiling at a Malwitz Island Lanes challenge. It's been pretty tame for her today. Yes, that's what I mean. I think the message. Uh... Big strike for Gary Scott. Yes, basically, Mike, before we started, had to uh, tell everyone to behave themselves, just in general, and I think that message has gotten through. Usually, except for him. People are shushing in Island Lanes? <laughs> what is going on? What is happening here? We don't shush here. <laughs> exactly. going where's he's got more bowling he's got more bowling he's, he's leaving already get another 10th frame strike from Double M there, Mike Malwitz. But that is enough because the highest Big Easy can get to now is 217 and Mike has a 226. All right, there you go. Final score goes on the board for Team Malwitz of 226. So Jeremy Paguada will finish things out here for Team Big Easy, but yet again, the guy whose name is on the bowling center is gonna take home the trophy. And the one guy who you know will let everyone forget at the least is gonna take home the trophy again. Well, free drinks for everyone. <laughs> well, maybe that's the trade-off. Maybe that's it. Maybe there. Maybe Mike will, uh, will open up his wallet there and uh, and treat everybody. So we got a winner. It's Team Mullins over Team Big Easy. We'll talk to both teams, come back and wrap up our fun stay here in Grand Island. Sue and I are back with more Beat the Champ right after this. to 216, it's a victory for Team Malwitz in our Island Lanes All-Star Challenge. Tough one for Team Big Easy. Captain Jeremy, you're never gonna hear the end of this. No, I won't, and it's already started, so it is what it is. <laughs> but uh, look, we could have had a better shot here or there, but I'm still proud of my team. We're here, we did good. Couldn't take it from them, but we'll get them next time. So. Were, were you shockingly thrown off by how quiet it got here at times? I've never heard it ever this quiet in Island Lanes. <laughs> It's, yeah, well, yeah, didn't have, didn't have enough four counts, didn't have enough, uh, yeah, it, it is, it's fine. I'll take a little quiet when it comes. It's All fine. right. Yeah, so will we, thankfully, Sue. Uh, three wins in a row for you. Is there any coincidence? Do you think maybe they're just kind of like letting you win to keep you quiet? No, I don't think they're letting me win. Um, trust me, they want to beat me. Um, I'm going to just say, like I did last time in October, that I know how to draft a team. Mm. I, was, I was getting razzed for my picks. And I was like, really? Like, I know these bowlers. I see them all the time. I know who can win the game. And my, my team came through. All right, so. It has nothing to do with me. 
Well, it's, my team. it does. Your captaining nothing, skills. Nothing we love more than Mike's honesty and humility. <laughs> Always the best part the of hanging out here at Island Lanes. You guys are great. Everybody here is great. This is always one of the most fun shows we ever had, and you guys all did a nice job and bowled well. So it's another successful and incident-free Mollitz's Island Lanes All-Star <laughs> Challenge. We're back to wrap it up right after this on yeah, Beat the Champ. <laughs> Well, all kidding aside, and we love to kid with Mike Mowitz and the gang here at Grand Island, this kind of a show shows you the camaraderie of the people here and what makes this sport so much fun. Absolutely. It does embody what bowling is about. And if you go into any community and go to a bowling center, a lot of the times this is what you're going to find inside of the bowling center, and that is what is so great about bowling. Yeah, a lot of friendship, a little bit of trash talk, a lot of rivalry, but ultimately a lot of fun. And... Mike Mullet's going to put his money where his mouth he is. He absolutely is. So Wednesday, March 4th, Mike will be behind the bar. And he said, if you come to the bar and mention who won this all-star championship match, first drink is free on Mike. How so that about is that? The pop or if you are of age, yep. that kind of beverage as well. There you go. Adult beverages or, uh, or whatever else. How about that? That's, again, part of the great host that the Mallwoods family is, not only to us, but to the bowling community of Western New York. We had a lot of fun today. We hope you did, too. We move it on to Salamanca for next week's show. Joe Doherty, the Grand Island guy from here, will be our first bowler up. We'll see how he does. We'll see how the whole month goes in Salamanca when we see you on the next edition of Beat the Champ.